men of the bar and the bench are still reacting to the midnight sweep on some judges across the different locations in the country. For the Chief Justice of the Nation, the action of the men of the Department of Security Services is distressing and did not unaware of the actions of the DSS, but has said he respects the judiciary, but the operation was not targeted at the institution, but against corruption. We we'll take on another look at the Buhari and the corruption war. That's our focus tonight on the program. Many thanks for joining in wherever you're watching. This is Politics Today Live on Channels Television. And of course, as you're watching, we are live on Facebook. But before we get deep into the matter of the day, Let's take a look at some of the top political stories we're following right now. Political Rider of the Channel's Television. Yeah, are your top political stories this time. Best ways to get Nigeria profitable again is what these experts have gathered here for in the midst of the economic recession. It's the National Economic Summit Group's Economic Summit in Abuja and the Nigeria's president is present on the first day of the summit and the campaign is for made in Nigeria commodities. President Buhari says he wants a situation where Nigeria will consume what it produces and stop the over-reliance on imported goods. My greatest desire is that Nigeria moves from import defenders to self-sufficiency in local production and become and export-led economy in goods and services. Members of the Commission of Inquiry taking oath of duties ahead of them. The governor of Kogi State, Yahaya Bailo, will be probing past administrations in the state. The governor, while inaugurating members of the commission, is appalled at the rate of development since over 25 years the state has been in existence. Governor Bailo believes the problem of the state is not that of money, but most of the money is meant for development stolen. I make bold to insist that our problem is in lack, it's not lack, it's not the lack of money, but the theft of money. The Ogun State All Progressives Congress, APC, has won all the 57 chairmanship seats in the election into 20 local government and 37 local council development areas held on Saturday. The State Independent National Electoral Commission says the party also won 346 of the 349 councillor seats, while the Unity Party of Nigeria won two councillorship seats and the People's Democratic Party settled for one. Meanwhile, the result of the election has been met with mixed feelings, as the People's Democratic Party called for the total cancellation of the exercise. APC has won the entire 57 cha chairmanship seats in all these areas. While PDP has won nothing, while UPN has won nothing. And you're up to date. Those are your top political stories you need to know. Many thanks for staying with us, everyone. It's fast paced and we need to move fast on the issues. Well, interesting times we are all in in Nigeria. A series of events coming up and asking for everyone's attention. And perhaps the nation's leaders are also preoccupied uh, based on the issues on the table. Former President uh, Chivolusha Gombasanjo, for example, has had another closed door meeting with President Muhammadu Buhari in the presidential villa. Details of the meeting have not been made public and efforts to make the former president talk to journalists proved abortive. The former president drove into the presidential villa at about 2 p.m. today and made his way into the president's office for the meeting that lasted for about 45 minutes. But one could guess what the subject of the meeting was, but for all you know, it might not be exactly uh, what uh, one thinks the two leaders 
discuss. Well, let's talk some partisan politics now. Some leaders in the People's Democratic Party in the Southwest have met in Ibadan, the capital of Oyo State, today. The Southwest leaders at the end of their meeting agreed on some issues which include applauding the role of the BOT members, governors of the party, National Assembly members, founding fathers, and other critical stakeholders in bringing about the peace in the PDP. The forum also commended the spirit of sportsmanship exhibited by both Senator Mark Rafi and Senator Sharif joint committees in thrusting national peace and harmony in the party. The leaders, however, gives a thumbs up to the leadership and membership of the PDP in Edo State in what they say is a gallant fight in the last governorship election in the state. They say they stand firmly by them in their effort to retrieve what they describe as a party's stolen mandate and asked members and leaders of the PDP in Ondo State to close ranks and work together to sustain the control of the state by PDP come next election. The Didi Forum are ended by asking the leadership of the PDP to zone the position of the national chairman of the party to the southwest as the only zone that has never held that position before. Some uh, of the leaders present at the meeting in today include Professor Tundi Adenero, Dr. Adedo Sumu in Lagos, Elijah Fata Adenoju, Professor Tahid Adedoja, former House of Rep Speaker, Dimeji Bankale, Senator Buruje Kashamu from Ogun State, Senator Teslim Folarin from Oyo State, and some other factional state chairmen of the party. Quickly now, let's move to our major story of the day. We continue the conversation on the raid on some judges across the country, a matter that has brought the Buhari and the corruption war under scrutiny. Today, senior legal practitioners met in Abuja. The chief justice of the nation, Justice Mahmoud Muhammad, says the action of the Department of Security Services is distressing, deeply regrettable, and very saddening. The president of the Nigerian Bar Association also speaks uh, restating the stance of the NBA asking for the unconditional release of the judges while condemning the role of the DSS. My laws invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, not to detract from this occasion. It is indeed very saddening and deeply regrettable that the, the distressing and unfortunate incident which occurred on Friday, 7th October, and Saturday, 8th October 2016, regarding the affairs of the judiciary. However, I must ask all Nigerians to remain calm and prayerful as emergency meeting of the National Judicial Council will be taken, will be taking place tomorrow, will comprehensively look into the matter. The NBA rejects these explanations and justifications that these so-called surgical operations were targeted at corruption and not the judiciary. We find it absurd that the presidency will accept assurances for the DSS that we followed all the process of the law. We maintain our position that these operations are illegal and unconstitutional. I want to reiterate that the position of the bar is not aimed at protecting any judge. We are not shielding any judges from investigation from charges of corruption. The resolve of the NBA on the fight against corruption is unwavering. We are clear that raiding judges, uh, houses of judges of the Supreme Court in the middle of the night by must and men is, is not the way to go. We do not accept it. This portends real danger to Nigeria's democracy. It is contrary to all civilized norms and accepted standards. The human experience, I dare say, has not shown us that there is any better or sustainable way to deal with any human problem rather than through rigorous